Hi, everyone, and welcome to our weekly webinar today, March the 25th. We have with us Angela Rodriguez, who has prepared this amazing information. Make sure that you have out your notebook or a place to write down your notes. Um, so today we're going to have a lot of information to talk about. And let's just welcome Angela. Hi, Angela. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday, March 25th already. Isn't that crazy? Um, so today we're going to talk about Karen Repair Oil and Jackfruit Cream. We've been talking a lot about our skincare sets. So these are some other complementary products that can meet really specific skincare needs for our customers. Um, we're going to continue to talk about selling with direct links, specifically how to use them in YouTube as we post demos there. Um, then as we talk about prospecting and things like that, we're going to give some tips about what does a sales slump look like and how do we get out of it, right? Um, we will also wrap up by going over again our 20, our goals for that trip to Switzerland in 2025, because the month is coming to a close um, very soon, we want to make sure that we know what is our baseline, what are our goals, and have we met them yet, or how are we going to get there before the month of um, March ends? So then we'll finish up with some time-sensitive reminders. As you'll see, we'll have a special raffle for you at the end as well. So stay tuned, those of you who are joining us live today. All right, so let's talk about our care and repair oil. Um, this is a newer launch product that's come out more recently in recent years, and it is one of my favorites. Um, it can be used for so many different things. Like if I had to choose one moisturizing product to take along with me, it would be this because I can use it for so much. So it can be used on scars and stretch marks. Um, it's, it has 10 nourishing oils that nourish our skin on our face and our body. It helps maintain moisture. It doesn't feel greasy or oily. It absorbs really quickly and it strengthens our skin's protective barrier. So this is great for everyday use and also those TLC moments when our skin needs an extra boost. So quick trivia, go ahead and share in the chat. Um, how many drops are in a bottle of Karen Repair? It looks small, but it is mighty. Let us know in the chat. How many drops are in a bottle of care and repair? I'll give you a minute to answer. And you can just guess, it's okay. I'll tell you in a minute. How many drops are in a bottle of care and repair oil? For most treatments that I use, like it's just a little bit on my face, a little bit on my cuticles, things like that. I usually need one or two drops, but if you're doing a larger area of your body, you usually need three to six drops. You know, if you're doing, if you're going to apply it on your arms, on your legs, etc., a little bit more, but waiting for more answers in the chat. We're still thinking about it. So there are 700 drops of nourishing oils in this little tube. And it comes with a really smart little applicator if you don't own this already, where you literally get just one drop at a time. It smells wonderful, applies really easily, and absorbs immediately into your skin, leaving it soft and silky, but not feeling greasy. It's amazing. Um, so our key ingredients in our care and repair oil are prickly pear and musk rose, which are kind of like the key ingredients that really are the standout aromas in this. They smell so good and sweet. Um, Sacha inchi, safflower, almond, ol olive, flaxseed, barrage, black currant, and sunflower oil. So this is a beautiful mix of nourishing oils that work together really well for all kinds of things. One of their main uses is on scars. So we apply this oil in a circular massage on scars to also activate circulation and get our skin alive and kick in so that it does its job. Um, but we want to apply this to scars once the wound has completely healed. Okay. Do not apply this oil to open cuts or open um, wounds. Okay. This is going to work for scars that are up to two years old. So more recent scarring. Uh, the high fatty acid content in this oil blend makes new tissue that is forming around that scar more elastic and smooth so that it blends into the rest of our skin and doesn't stand out so much, right? So we're really able to reduce the appearance of those newer scars by, by using this oil consistently, okay? Now also for stretch marks. Now there are lots of different reasons why we might get stretch marks, but it's basically our skin gets stretched pretty quickly uh, due to growth, rapid growth, hormone changes, things like that. All of a sudden our skin stretches and it can't, it's not elastic enough to always keep up with that, right? So care and repair oil increases the thickness of our skin. 
because when it's stretched thin, that's where we get those little like pink lines that come with these stretch marks, right? So it improves by increasing the thickness of our skin in those areas. We're improving the texture and lightening up that reddish pink color that comes along with stretch marks. So we can use it for prevention when we know that our skin is going to be stretching quickly. Like I'm thinking like pregnancy, right? So when you know your body is going to be stretching quickly um, for some kind of growth spurt, right? Um, or hormonal change. And um, you can also use it for stretch marks that have already formed. Um, sometimes we we drop the ball or it just uh, that skin stretches faster than we expect it to. So um, we can also use this for overall skin care. So these natural oils, the natural oils that our skin has do decrease over time due to age or other external factors. Um, these fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals that are found in the care and repair oil nourish and protect our skin. We And we can also combine this, <clears throat> excuse me, with other used products. So this is a great combination with our vital used or other used skincare routines. A lot of our consultants use this along with our skin perfecting serum for mature skin or just skin that needs an extra nutrient boost. Um, you can also combine this with petty cream for softening rough skin or extra dry skin on your feet and with chamomile hand cream. Like I said, um, it's great for putting a couple drops on your cuticles. Like I just pinched my fingers together, apply one or two drops. I just ordered a refill of this because I use it so much. Um, and you just rub it around your cuticles. I also apply this to my knuckle area where I want extra moisture um, because they tend to get dried out and especially in cold weather. And then I apply my chamomile hand cream on top of that. Um, okay, and so it's used for uh, face and body, but also you can put it on tattoos to brighten them up and moisturize them. Great for chapped noses if you have a cold and it can even be like a primer before you apply makeup. So there's lots of uses for this. Um, just keep in mind that this is not necessarily formulated for scars or stretch marks that are over two years old. You're not going to see much of an effect on that. Not that it's not going to still nourish your skin, but it's not going to be able to help the, the skin tissue as much with older scars and stretch marks. Um, and also if you have customers who who are looking for solutions for dry, flaky skin due to eczema or psoriasis, then you'd want to talk more about lamelliderm instead of care and repair. Okay, so any questions about that, go ahead and let us know in the chat. And on your to-do list, just make a quick list. Who do you know already who needs a boost of nourishment for their skin on face, body, hands, feet, etc., who has healed scars up to two years old, or has or wants to prevent stretch marks due to pregnancy, growth spurts, weight changes, etc.? Those are people to share this product with and tell them a little bit more about it. Now, we also want to talk about jackfruit cream this little guy right here, um, which is designed for helping with dark spots. So we get dark spots from a variety of reasons. Um, as we age, our skin kind of changes from sun exposure, acne scars, hormonal changes. Um, there's lots of different reasons why our skin gets darker pigmented, dark, more darkly pigmented in certain spots. I have one right here. If you can see, um, I use so much SPF, but the skin of mine, this translucent skin of mine, the sun always gets me. So the key ingredients in this, in this cream are jackfruit, aloe vera, jojoba oil, sun filters, vitamin E, lemon, grapefruit, and corn. Okay. Um, so these are some of our key ingredients that are found in this. And basically how jackfruit cream works is it's going to prevent the transference of melanin, the pigment that is going to give our skin that darker color. Jackfruit is going to prevent that from coming up to the surface, to the keratinocytes, um, which is the outer layer of our skin, like that outer, outer layer of cells that we find on our skin. So it's going to keep the pigment from coming up to the surface of our skin and making those dark spots look darker. It also helps cells regenerate and delays their natural aging process. It has an antioxidant effect to help protect cells from the sun. And our skin, as a result, just looks more even and our spots are lightened. Now, it's really important as you're sharing this product with your customers to tell them how to use it correctly. Um, because without instructions, they're going to either think that it's not working or they're not going to be a applying it correctly and it won't be able to do its job. So what we want to do is have our customers apply this to directly to dark spots on their skin, but on top of the rest of their skincare and makeup. So it should be the very last step in their skincare routine and they want to apply it directly to the spots and just tap it and let it absorb. 
Okay. It's really nice. Like all of our used creams, it absorbs really quickly, super soft, super pleasant aroma, great on our skin, but they will apply that up afterwards because we have to apply it afterwards so that it can actually absorb into our skin without getting blocked by other things. And it just works best on top of the rest of our skincare product. Okay. Um, they do have to use this twice a day. So, um, in the morning and at night, they will start to see results. Like they're really, you'll really see results after 28 days, but you have to keep using it consistently. Um, this hyperpigmentation is skin damage, right? From the sun and from other factors. Um, and it's not something that just is going to just disappear. It is something that we keep telling, like, don't go to the surface of my skin. Don't go to the surface of my skin. Don't go to the surface of my skin. So you have to keep using this project product. But if you, if any of you have been through more intense spot removal procedures, they are not a great time. Um, I've had to have them done just because of like some cells that we wanted to keep an eye on. And it is not fun getting your face like, you know, um, liquid nitrogen. So, um, this is a nice, gentle, natural art alternative to some of the more intense spot removal treatments that you might have, like with your dermatologist. So, um, this is a great, this is a great natural option for keeping that pigment at bay. Okay. So also if you are looking for ways to demo jackfruit cream this next week for your customers, um, take a little screenshot of this. You can demonstrate this whole skin brightening treatment, um, that is going to help just even out skin tone and really give skin this extra boost while reducing, um, the color of those dark spots. So make sure that you're demonstrating with either our clean, the vital use cleansing gel or my cellar, my cellar makeup remover to remove makeup first. Um, using the micro peeling cream to exfoliate, removing dead skin cells um, and produce, making our skin regenerate more often, right? So you do that about once a week. Clair then following that up with the clarifying tonic every day, twice a day. Skin perfecting serum every day, twice a day. Um, the deep hydrating cream for day and night. And then jackfruit cream at the very end of their skin routine where we just dab it on to the spots um, that are looking darker. Any questions about that? Make sure you take a screenshot, but that is like the top recommendation for anyone who is dealing with dark spots and wants to get rid of them. This is the skincare routine to recommend, okay? All right, so who do you know who feels their skin has lost its even tone? who has dark spots on their skin, whether it might be from the sun, from different medications, contraceptions, uh, contraceptives, et cetera, pregnancy, burns, acne scars, et cetera. So who wants to reduce that dark pigment on their skin? Then let's have a chat with them about the, this jackfruit cream this week. Now that we feel like we have a really good understanding of what it is and how it works and how to use it. Any questions, go ahead and add them to the chat. Okay. And then for our business tools, this week we are continuing to practice selling sets with direct links because we want you all to be pros at this, right? It is the, it is this day and age's way of selling. Um, a lot of people are selling online and they want that one click shopping experience. So we're going to make it very easy for them by doing these direct product links and sharing them on our social media or in messages, etc. cetera. Um, so one more time, I'm going through this this process, please do this with me if you feel like you haven't quite mastered it yet. So we're going to start by opening a browser like Chrome, like Edge, like Safari, whatever it might be, right? You're going to open up a browser and go to your personal website. So your use-usa.com slash and then your handle, and then just check and make sure that your personal website has your name on it, et cetera. You're in the right place. Then we're going to click on the shop button to go to our shopping website so that when we share links with our customers, we have sets available to us. We have current promotional prices available to us. By getting the links from the shopping site, everything is up to date um, and is going to take them right to a place where they can put things in their cart. Then if you're going to, you can either search a specific product, like let's say I'm talking about care and repair oil with someone, I can search that, or I can go into sets and choose one of our um, sets that meets that person's needs. We're going to show you the, revital, the vital use revitalizing set in this example. So make sure that you actually open, like you actually click on the name of the set to open up the page that is just that set like this, right? So not a list of all the promos, et cetera. You wanna go to the exact product, click on the URL at the top. This is why we do this from a browser. You're going to click on it and copy it. Um, you can right click 
and choose copy. You can control C to copy it, but copy that URL. And, um, and if you're doing it on a phone, it will look pretty similar. Go into your used website, click on the little menu at the left-hand side, those three lines, click on shop, click on the name of the product or the set that you are sharing the link for. Make sure you have it open to just that product and then click on the URL up at the top and choose to copy it. Okay, um, so by just clicking on it, you should, this is what it looks like on iPhone. You get a little drop down that asks if you want to copy it. Let me know in the chat, anyone who has Android, does it look, I think it looks pretty similar, but let us know if there's um, any extra step that you have to do in Android, that would be helpful. Okay, so we're going to copy that and then we go into our message, we go into our social media, et cetera, and we paste it. So um, there are lots of different ways to use these product links. We can do, um, we can post the link in our social media bio with our link tree. So a lot of us have a link tree in our Instagram bio. Um, you might have it on your Facebook page as well. So have that social media bio with a link tree ready to go and keep updating that every month with what you're planning on talking about. You could add it to your Instagram stories with a link sticker. We've gone through those, but we will be practicing them again. In YouTube videos and shorts, by adding your link to the description, it becomes a live link. Super easy to do. We'll describe that. We'll go more in depth with that today. Um, in the description of your WhatsApp status. And again, you put a little link in your description and it's a live link. It's super easy. Um, you can share it through direct messages to your customers, a WhatsApp message, a messenger um, message, SMS, text, etc. It will all work. Um, you can share the link in your online groups and communities with other people who aren't interested in natural wellness properties. I just have a note here where allowed. So you are going to have some community groups in Facebook, et cetera, that say, do not share product links, do not promote products here. Like pay attention to those rules, but anywhere where it's allowed, go ahead and um, have those conversations with people. And seek collaboration with influ influencers and friends, kind of like your social so social seller connections. Um, so your people on social networks so that they can share a direct link on their platforms um, and company, accompany that with a demo video, et cetera, so that you can reach out and expand your network. Um, and again, you could do that with like a spa link with someone being a social selling partner with you as well. Um, you could do, you could share your link at events or wellness fairs. You just place the direct link, print it on a sheet and place it in a frame. Like you could do a bit.ly, you could do a QR code, um, so that people can access that easily. You can customize a bit.ly link, which is just a shortened link. So you can add it into your TikTok content. So even, so TikTok will let you put your link tree in your bio once you have a thousand followers, but you do want to promote your products. And even before you get a thousand followers, right? So, um, so you can share a bit.ly people will have to type that in, but you can share that in your TikTok content, um, as a sticker or in your, in your description. Um, you can put this on samples. So once you have a little shortened link, like in bit.ly, you can place that link on cards. I put them on address labels and stick them onto my samples, things like that. Um, you can add those links to your sample so that if you give someone a sample, they can scan it or search that little link and shop right away. Okay, so there's lots of different ways to do this. Today, we're going to go through a specific tech, tech tip, which is one of the easiest ways to share your link, is by sharing a direct product link on YouTube. Okay, so let us know in the chat if you already have a YouTube channel created for your used business. Um, if you're creating content for Instagram and TikTok, et cetera, you might as well also share it to YouTube. It's a whole nother audience that you can reach, especially now with YouTube shorts, with which are kind of like reels, right? So, um, so how to sell on YouTube, you create your YouTube channel, you create an art image in Canva, or you can find one that's already made and you kind of just set up your channel with the basics, right? And then um, I have mine connected. I have my personal account, and I just go into like my little face on here, like my little profile up at the top right. And you click on that and you just go into switch account and you can toggle between your different YouTube channels. Very, very easy. So it, then you'll choose your used channel that you've created on YouTube <clears throat> and you upload a video. You'll notice that on YouTube, there's this little camera with a little plus button. That's where you go to upload. So you make sure you're on the right channel um, that you want to upload to. 
you click that little button and you choose upload video. Then wherever you are, you'll have your video on your phone and uploading it into the YouTube app, or you might have the video on a desktop and you're uploading it there from your desktop. Either way, wherever it is, you'll upload it onto um, your YouTube channel, give it a title um, based on like the cut, the need that you're meeting something with a hook phrase is ideal. And then at the bottom, you're going to write a description. And in that description, you can copy and paste your link right in the video description. Okay. And the nice thing is, is that YouTube makes that a live link for you. As soon as you publish it, you don't have to do any other special thing. If people can click right on that. So if you can see it is a live, you publish your video, post it, and people, when they look at that description, will be able to click right on it and go to your website. You don't have to use Bitly. You don't have to do anything special. Just put your links in there and you're good to go. Okay. So that is, that is the step that we're doing is we, we go into our channel that we have created for our used business. We are going to go to this little camera with the plus button, upload your video demo of one of our vital use sets or whatever it is that you're promoting at the time. Give it a title preferably with a hook and the name of the product or the name of the customer need in the bottom, give a little bit more detail and add that link in that description. Okay. We publish it and it's live. It's ready to go. Okay. Now what we want you to do this week, do you see here where it says share? You can go in once you've done this process, you can click share and copy the YouTube link and you're going to send that to say Sarah. Okay, so I'll go through that in just a moment. That's going to be one of our special projects for this week um, so that you can you can get a free use product just for learning with us. So, um, so our special challenge for webinar part participants this week, which will be Monday today through Thursday, um, is we want to get a direct link to any of our vital use sets, right? So we have the firming set, the revitalizing set, the basic skincare set, um, and just choose one of our sets that, are, that we're promoting this week. Um, and you're going to do a few different steps with it. You're going to copy and paste your direct product link using that system we've been talking about, right? Go to your personal website, go into your shopping site, find the product, click the URL, copy it, okay? Copy and paste that direct product link into a description of a YouTube demo. So you're going to record a little video, upload it to YouTube, put the link in the description, and then take that and share that video with Cesar, okay? You can send it to the 210-391-1832 phone number. Um, and then you want to just, your goal is to sell one or more or more vital use sets with that direct product link. If you are really going for this, do a demo for each one, post a direct link for each one so that you're really reaching a lot of audiences. This YouTube link can also be shared to your Facebook. It can be shared to other places um, so that they can, you can see it on multiple platforms as well. And then just for doing those things, you create a demo, you post the link in the description on YouTube, you via whatever other modes you want to sell one of that vital, those vital use sets with a direct product link, you're going to receive a free travel size deep hydrating cream. Now, this is something we want to achieve in these next four days. So really set your mind to doing that right away tonight or tomorrow morning to get going on this challenge, okay? Just a quick reminder, this includes orders that are placed through your personal website. This includes orders placed by PCC members, but it does not include spa orders. It does not include personal consultant orders, okay? Any questions about our challenge for this week? Okay, good luck. Please message us with any questions. If you need help with any of those steps, we are more than happy to walk you through it. Okay, and let's continue on with our prospecting tips for today. So um, we've already been talking a lot about prospecting. How do we connect with new people um, and bring them in to get to know used, whether they're interested in just buying the products as a customer, whether they're interested in PCC, whether they're interested in becoming a consultant, how do we reach out and find more people who are interested in what we have to offer? We've talked about our seven mindsets for success to be a successful prospector. And we've gone over some different ways to balance our prospecting. And we've gone over why do we need to prospect? So last week we talked about how key, like top salespeople are spending about 80% of their time 
prospecting to keep the funnel full. Like you always have to have new perspective customers and consultants in the pipeline coming in that you can continue these conversations with. We know that we end up having to make contact with people six to 12 times before something happens, before they purchase, before they sign up as a consultant, et cetera. Um, so we need some time to work with them, which means we always have to be looking for new prospects, okay? There are those three fundamental laws that we talked about last week to guarantee a constant flow of prospects. The law of need, don't wait until you need the sales to start prospecting because you'll get, your energy will be off, your mind will be focusing on the wrong things, um, and we come off as kind of desperate. So we don't want to wait until we need the sales, that we need the income um, to start prospecting. The 30 day rule. What we do in one set of 30 days is going uh, via prospecting is going to affect the next 90 days of our sales. So this is a cycle that you need to keep up. And the law of replacement. You can't prospect one month and then close sales the next month. You have to keep replacing prospects in that funnel um, so that you can keep your sales meeting your goals. Okay. So today we want to talk about what if those things just aren't all vibing for us at one point and we're getting a sales slump. Have you ever been in one? Let us know in the chat. Just put a one in the chat if you've ever been in a sales slump where all of a sudden you're like, why is no one buying from my use business this month? What is going on? I feel like I'm doing all these things. What's not working? Like we get in these sales slumps where all of a sudden we're like, what is going on, right? Now here, we're gonna give you some tips today of things to consider when you get that feeling, right? It's like, why is this not, why is this not working for me? Um, 99% of sales slumps can be linked to prospecting issues. We slacked on prospecting or we didn't dedicate enough time to it, right? Like it's usually linked to prospecting issues. So at one point we stopped prospecting and focused on maybe closing sales with other people. We were busy with family life or something like that. Some For some reason we stopped prospecting. Our pipeline is not full. We don't have people constantly coming in, new people constantly coming in, connecting with our youth business. Things just slow down. We end up closing fewer deals because we have fewer new prospects coming in. And that can affect our confidence, right? We kind of get those negative thoughts and we start saying like, well, maybe this isn't for me or why isn't this working? What am I doing wrong? And we get in a negative mindset, which is not very motivating for us, right? So we feel less motivated for prospecting and sales activities because we're like, well, I've been trying everything and nothing's working, which we probably haven't been, but that's what our brain starts doing, right? Um, and we keep attempting like some unsuccessful strategies. We're reaching out to old prospects who have not been successful. We've, you know, like we, we kind of get into a cycle that's not very helpful at this point. This is a sales slump, right? Um, and then by using all these inefficient strategies, this negative mindset, we start blaming random things. Um, we get low sales results and this is our slump, okay? So how do we recover when we're in this mode. This is not the time to give up. This is the time to take action. So first of all, you have to accept the true reasons for the slump. Be careful with the blame game, um, you know, of the things that took up all of our time that, you know, it's something else's fault. Most of the time, the true reason is how much time we spent on prospecting and sales activities that is affecting this sales slump. So stop digging a hole using inefficient strategies and start prospecting, okay? We've talked about all these different balanced prospecting strategies of social media, wellness fairs, phone calls, emails, mailings, right? We've talked about so many different ways. Start prospecting, put your energy back into that part of your business. Um, take a breath, acknowledge those negative feelings, but also acknowledge how unhelpful they are, right? So if you feel yourself playing the blame game um, take a moment to say like, I'm kind of blaming a lot of different things for my sales performance. Let me do something that I can control and fix that. Those negative feelings are not helping me get anywhere. Um, make a daily commitment to prospecting. So set a specific period of your work time aside for prospecting. I have to set alarms and reminders on my phone. So they beep and tell me what to do during the day. Um, you might be able to write it down in your schedule, in your calendar, things like that, but set aside a committed time for prospecting. Find your focus. So you're doing balanced prospecting, but you need to be kind of in the zone for your energy and your tone and your, if it's in person, your body language and everything to be on, um, on right. So find your focus of how do you connect with people in a positive way during your prospecting. Um, sometimes if I have to do like, if I'm doing like email and messaging kind of prospecting, I need like 
classical study music. I need like a certain environment. I need my earbuds in with noise canceling so I can focus and get it done. But what is your focus? What is your zone for focusing on your prospecting activities? Take a minute to think about what do I need to be able to set aside this time and make it count? Let go of past mistakes. You had a sales slump, but now you're taking action to get out of it. And just put all your energy into those things that you can control. You can set a schedule. You can determine your purpose and the ratio of time spent on your different activities, such as how much time do you spend um, creating social media content versus prospecting in different ways, etc. Balance out your work time and learn strategies for balanced, consistent prospecting, which is what we are teaching you here every Monday in our webinar. So keep showing up, okay? Uh, so put your energy towards those things you can control, keep learning, keep working, keep balancing your prospecting and putting enough time into it. And you're going to see that boost your sales over time, especially if you're really consistent about this, okay? So just remember, the more you prospect, the luckier you get. Sometimes when we're in sales, we feel like we have a lucky month, but it's actually the result of hard work that you've put in during for prospecting and meeting new people and bringing them in to see what use has to offer for them. Okay. So let's do a quick reflection. Just write in the chat. How do you find your focus for prospecting and sales activities? Do you have to listen to special music beforehand? Do you have to have a special workplace to do that? Do you have a calendar? Do you have a checklist? Do you have a report that you pull up? Like what is your go-to way to get focused before you start prospecting? For me, I like to pull up a customer report. What is that one called? It's like the email report of all customers and ex-consultants and things like that so that I have a list to start from. Um, that's one thing that can be really helpful is to have a list for me so that I could say, I'm going to talk to 10 people today or something like that. So like a specific number, um, like I've said, having my focus music to get me out of mom mode and into work mode can be helpful as well. Um, go ahead and share in the chat. What is something that you do to get focused or that you can do to get focused before you start your prospecting activities? Go ahead and take your time and share in the chat. For time reasons, I'm going to move on to our last topic for today. We just want to remind you as the month of March is wrapping up, um, we want to remind you to check your numbers for your um, your baseline and your goals for Journey to the Origin, our trip to Switzerland in 2025. Since we are, this is the first month that counts towards that. We want to accomplish these goals eight out of these next 10 months. Um, let's just start by doing that in March, right? So the whole goal behind this the system is that each week we do a little bit more than the last. This is a great, great way for consultants to grow and earn this trip as well as leaders. So no matter where you are at, as long as you joined our team of consultants by the end of February of this year, um, you have an opportunity to earn this trip. Isn't that awesome? So if you are a consultant, right? So our consultant qualification depends on two things. So for the month of March, you want to meet your incremental personal sales goal, which means look at your baseline personal sales um, baseline that they sent in your email this past month. And whatever that baseline is, by the end of this month, you want your personal sales to have increased from that baseline by $100 dollars, right? So if they sent you a baseline that was like $430, that's your average between the past three months, your baseline for personal sales, you want to do a hundred more than that this month. Okay. That's for consultants. Consultants, the second part to qualify for this month is your, your um, incremental personal enrollment activity. That means you look at the list of consultants that you have personally sponsored. And you're going to count up how many of them are considered active. So that means that um, if you're counting up how many of your consultants on the list that you have personally sponsored um, have bought or sold $100 or less, or $100 or more, sorry. So at least a $100 in personal sales for them means that um, you're able to meet your incremental personal enrollment activity goal. So let's say your baseline that was emailed out to you for this was two consultants were active in your in your uh, baseline. Now this month, if your baseline was two, you want to achieve that three of your consultants on your personally sponsored team have $100 or more in personal sales. Any questions about that? Check your reports. 
um, and you can see their numbers for their personal sales volume and check in with that. Make sure also that you're checking in with them so that they know how this works and they know what their own goals are, okay? Now for leaders, um, go ahead and take a screenshot of this if you need it. For leaders, the qualification is a little bit different. So your first qualification is for active consultants in your group. So you're looking for active consultants are people who had an order that month, right? So people who place an order that month each month, you must have at least two incremental active consultants in your group compared to the previous month. So you look at your baseline and you want to add two more people who have been active in your group compared to your baseline. Okay. And for the incremental group sales, your group sales should increase by $300 each month. So take your baseline by the end of March, you want $300 more in your group sales. Any questions? Okay. Okay. Just quick tips too for earning your trip to Switzerland and staying focused on these goals. Set clear goals from day one. So create an action plan during the month. Try to close your goal by the 20th, the 22nd, like the earlier, the better so that you can breathe and have that chill energy that, that brings good sales to us, right? Um, this will save you a lot of stress. Work towards your goal early on. Visualize your trip to Switzerland in detail. You have a picture of yourself in Switzerland on your vision board. You imagine exactly what it will be like to be in Switzerland to visit the used um, plant, to see the Swiss landscape, et cetera. Like try to really visualize what it will be like when you are there, okay? Practice daily gratitude. So each day reflect on three things that you are grateful for in your life, in your work. Gratitude will foster a more positive mindset and strengthen our resilience when we do face challenges. Um, practice mindfulness so that you are working on uh, positive interactions with customers and your team. Be present in conversations. Focus on the here and now. Find a partner who also wants to go to Switzerland so you can share goals and strategies together and celebrate your own achievements and those of your team. Um, start a chat with people who are planning on going to Switzerland who are working towards this goal and share and celebrate um, your achievements, your strategies, things that have worked well, et cetera, in that specific group, okay? So just a few ideas for how to keep focused on those goals. All right, so our call to action for this week, um, remember to copy and paste your direct product link for one of our vital use sets into a YouTube video description that goes along with a quick demo. Um, send that YouTube video to Cesar so he can see that you've recorded a quick demo, given it a title, and included your direct product link in the description and sell one or more of those vital use sets with your direct product link so that you can re receive the free travel size deep hydrating cream. Again, we want to achieve these things in these next four days, okay? Um, and just overall work towards selling $300 in products and sets overall via spas and all of our other methods that we are putting um, into practice, okay? All right, so um, thank you everyone who has been able to join us live tonight and who is who are catching the replay. Um, those of you who are live with us here right now, just stay tuned for some time-sensitive reminders and raffles.